Hi, today we are going to create Eureka service registry and we are going to create the client and this client will be registered to Eureka service and for creating all these we need three things first we will create a Eureka service and this will be a service where the different microservices will be registered and second thing is we will create a microservice and create the registry of this service to the existing Eureka service that is the first one so in the second point we will create a service and that service that microservice will be registered to the Eureka service that is the to the first one it will be registered and third point is this basically is the step where we will register this second microservice which we have created in the step 2 and we will register that microservice to the existing service of the Eureka so we are creating Eureka service and create a client and will register that to the Eureka service so let's get started and you'll get to know what I'm talking about. First I'm going to create a Eureka service. For that I'm creating a new Spring Starter project. Name is Eureka Service Demo. Group is Comsumit and package Comsumit Play Java. This is demo service for Eureka. So here what I'm doing, I'm just creating a normal POM file and inside that norm, normal POM file I'm going to provide the dependencies. I'm telling you what the dependencies are. Let's go to the POM file and this is a basic version. I'm going to remove that parent version and also I'm going to remove all the properties from this POM file and I'm going to provide my custom POM file dependencies and these are the dependencies which I'm going to provide in the POM file. I'll provide the, all these in the GitHub link in the description. So basically the compatibility issue comes in terms of Spring Cloud when you are using in terms of Eureka or and other things. So I have provided a basic compatibility of 2.1.3 Spring Boot project with 2.1.1 release of Eureka server. So this has a good compatibility. So here I am creating a Eureka server. So I provide the dependency of Spring Cloud starter Netflix Eureka server. And this is the dependency which will match with the Spring Boot version. After that, I'm providing dependency management. Dependency management is provided for further updates which will be provided in the Spring Cloud. These are there. So this is a basic server where all the microservices will be registered. So let's update this project. And I created Maven update. And after the update, everything is clean now. So in that, inside this, this is the main file. Here I will create this project as Eureka service. For creating this as Eureka service, I need to provide an annotation of enable Eureka server. So this microservice or this project will act as a Eureka server where all the different microservices will try to register it at this microservice. And this is basically Eureka server. So for that I created application.yml file. I'm not using application.properties, I'm just using application.yml where I'm providing these dependencies or these properties you can say. And basically the port is the default port of Eureka, that is 8761. Here I'm not registering with Eureka, so I provide it as false. Fetch registry is also false. And this is a default zone where the service will be created. So this service will be up at localhost 8761 and this will act as a default zone for other regi service registries. So let's start this server. So this Eureka service is going to be up now. See it has started and started at and see as you can see this unknown application is registered with it. Unknown application is nothing but this its own application only that is the default application in which this has been created. So when I'll run this default port, that is 8761 and Eureka service will be up, up and running. So let's run this. As you can see, it has instances currently registered with Eureka that is unknown. This is the default 8761 port which is running now. So we have created Eureka service. So all the services which will be registered to this service will be shown in the Eureka server at 8761 port. So 
let's stop this and now I'm going to create a service which will register itself with this service this Eureka service so let's create a microservice so just name this as Eureka service not the service but Eureka registry and demo so this is a demo registry which will register itself to the Eureka service so let's go to the next and click on finish in this I am going to provide the dependencies so these are the dependencies which I am going to provide in POM file again I am providing all these in the github link in the description so you can check with that as I said there are some conflicts with versions so I am providing a compatible version so as you can see everything is fine and here I am only having Java version but I need cloud version also so I am let me copy all these properties from the Eureka service and now I will provide these dependencies in the properties of POM so we are done with the configuration of POM file so let me show you what are these so basically these are the versions which I am going to use Spring Cloud and Java so this is the basic thing that is Netflix Eureka client dependency as you can see this was the service it has the dependency of Eureka but but Eureka server and which is going to register as a Eureka client as you can see it and I am going to use actuator and web because I am going to create a web service so I provide the dependency of web in the registry so and this is the dependency management for further updates of Spring Cloud and so that it can update time to time so we have created our project that is service demo and also service registry in service registry I am going to provide it as a client for Eureka service so this was earlier a service but the new project will be a client to the service for that we will enable Eureka but not as a service but as a, as a client so in April Eureka client annotation we are going to use and as you can see this was a service and the second one which we have created it is a client to that service so enable Eureka client and it will register itself to the previous one that is the existing service so for registering we need two things that is the name of the application and the URL where it will register itself for that we need to provide a file file name is application.properties or you can say application.yml so both has their own properties in yml you need to provide it in the yml form in properties you need to provide in the property form so i am going to use here bootstrap.yml click on finish this file will be in the resources folder here i am going to provide this let me show you these things let me copy all these and provide in the yml file as you can see spring application name is the name of the application which will be shown in the eureka service so this is the name so let me change the name which will be shown in there so eureka registry demo i need to provide here so this is the name of our application and it will be shown there eureka registry and demo and let's change the port number we can change to any number where the ports are available let's change it to 8181 and as you can see service URL has a default zone this is the same service URL where we are going to register this service this is the same URL of Eureka service where we have this running up and running 8761 so we have said that see this microservice we are going to register register you as this name and add this default zone of service URL so it will register itself at this service of Eureka so we are done with the creation of Eureka service and we have created a client of that and the client will register to that Eureka service through this bootstrap.yml file so now let's run it as Spring Boot application and also run the Eureka service so that it will go to that service running service and register itself there so we have start both the applications see both applications are up and running 
errors are coming because that service is not able to find that Eureka service. So when both of them will start, they will register, they will interact and this client service will register itself to the Eureka service. See, it has registered. So it has also, it has found one new Eureka registered demo. This is the same name which we have provided in bootstrap.yml file. And let's go to the browser. So let me refresh this. See, after refresh, you can find this application or more application. It has discovered and this Eureka register demo application has registered itself to this up and running Eureka server. So through this file, it has registered itself with this name Eureka register demo and it is running at 8181. As you can see, this is running at 8181 and the Eureka server has found it and registered it to its server. So in this project, we have created a microservice with the properties of Eureka server and second microservice we have created as a client which registers itself to this running microservice of Eureka. In the further tutorial, we are going to create one more microservice which will interact with Eureka server and will fetch the web service properties and try to interact through Eureka service. So in further tutorial, we will see one by creation of one more microservice and we will try to fetch the REST API through Eureka service. So this was about Eureka service registry and we will create a, also a client in next tutorial. Thank you.